Deer are ruminant mammals belonging to the family Cervidae. They inhabit a wide range of ecosystems, including forests, grasslands, and wetlands. Male deer, known as bucks, typically grow and shed new antlers annually. These antlers, made of bone, are used during the breeding season to compete for mates. Female deer, called does, usually give birth to one or two fawns at a time. Deer are herbivores, feeding on a variety of vegetation, including leaves, twigs, fruits, and grass. Their digestive system is specially adapted to break down tough plant material, with a four-chambered stomach that allows for efficient fermentation and nutrient absorption. They are crepuscular animals, being most active during dawn and dusk. Different species of deer exhibit varying sizes and adaptations. For instance, the smallest species, the northern pudu, stands only about 14 inches tall at the shoulder, while the largest, the moose, can stand over six feet tall. The white-tailed deer, one of the most common species in North America, is named for the distinctive white underside of its tail, which it flashes when alarmed. Deer play a significant role in their ecosystems, influencing vegetation structure and serving as prey for large predators like wolves and cougars. In some cultures, deer are symbolic and hold spiritual significance. For example, in Native American traditions, they often represent gentleness and grace. Seasonal behavior in deer includes migrations in some species, such as the caribou, which travel vast distances between their summer and winter habitats. Deer have excellent senses of hearing and smell, which help them detect predators and communicate with one another through vocalizations and scent markings. Deer populations are managed in many regions through regulated hunting and conservation efforts to balance their numbers with the available habitat and to reduce human-wildlife conflicts, such as those caused by deer vehicle collisions and agricultural damage. Deer exhibit a fascinating array of behavioral and physical adaptations that aid in their survival. For example, their eyes are positioned on the sides of their heads, giving them a wide field of vision to better detect predators. They also have a reflective layer behind the retina called the tapetum lucidum, which enhances their night vision. One interesting behavioral trait is that deer are known to communicate using body language. For instance, they may raise and flick their tails, stomp their hooves, or display their antlers to convey different messages such as alerting others to danger or establishing dominance. Vocalizations vary from species to species. It can include grunts, bleats, and snorts. During the rutting season, bucks engage in intense competition for access to does. This includes behaviors like antler wrestling, also known as sparring, creating scent markings on trees and the ground using glands located on their face, legs, and hooves. These markings serve to establish territory and attract mates. Deer have a unique reproductive strategy known as delayed implantation, observed in some species like the roe deer. After mating, the fertilized egg remains dormant for several months before implanting in the uterus, ensuring that the timing of birth coincides with favorable environmental conditions in the spring. Their pelage, or fur, changes with the seasons. Species deer have a reddish or brownish coat in the summer and turns to a thicker, grayer coat in the winter, providing better camouflage and insulation against the cold. Another remarkable aspect of deer is their ability to leap and run swiftly. White-tailed deer, for instance, can run at speeds up to 30 miles per hour and leap as high as 10 feet and as far as 30 feet in a single bound. These abilities help them escape predators. In terms of social structure, deer exhibit various group dynamics. While some species, like the red deer, form large herds led by a dominant male, others, such as the solitary moose, tend to be more independent except during mating season. Deer also have a significant impact on the environment through their browsing habits, which can shape plant communities and influence the structure of forests and grasslands. Overpopulation of deer in certain areas can lead to overgrazing, affects biodiversity and forest regeneration. In mythology and folklore, deer have been revered and celebrated in many cultures. For example, in Celtic mythology, the stag is often associated with deities of the forest and fertility. In Japanese culture, deer are considered messengers of the gods in the Shinto religion and are protected in certain regions like Nara. 
study of deer known as servidology has provided insights into wildlife management, ecology, and even medical research, such as understanding the spread of diseases like chronic wasting disease, CWD, and Lyme disease, which are associated with deer populations. Delving deeper into the diverse world of deer, one can observe various physiological and ecological adaptations that have allowed them to thrive in different environments. For instance, some deer species, like the water deer, are unique in that they lack antlers entirely. Instead, male water deer possess elongated canine teeth, or tusks, which they use in combat during the breeding season. Deer have adapted to a wide range of climatic conditions. The musk deer, found in the mountainous regions of Asia, has a dense undercoat that provides insulation against the cold. These deer are also known for the musk gland located near their genitals, which produces a substance highly valued in the perfume industry. In tropical regions, deer such as the munchak, or barking deer, are known for their loud, bark-like calls, which serve as an alarm system to alert others of predators. The munchak is one of the oldest known deer species, with fossils dating back millions of years, showcasing their long evolutionary history. The diet of deer can be highly specialized depending on their habitat. For example, the moose, which inhabits boreal forests and temperate broadleaf forests, primarily feeds on aquatic vegetation during the summer months. They're known to wade into water bodies to consume plants like water lilies and pondweed, which provide essential nutrients for their large bodies. Deer have various methods of thermoregulation to cope with extreme temperatures. In hot climates, species like the desert-adapted Persian gazelle have evolved to be more efficient with water usage and can tolerate higher body temperatures to avoid dehydration. In contrast, during cold winters, many deer species reduce their metabolic rate and increase fat reserves to conserve energy. The life cycle of deer involves several stages, from birth to maturity. Fawns are typically born in late spring to early summer, timing that ensures ample food availability and milder weather conditions. Fawns are born with spotted coats, which provide camouflage in their natural environment, helping them avoid predators. Parental care in deer is generally provided by the mother, who will nurse and protect her fawn until it is old enough to forage on its own. The weaning period varies among species, but generally lasts several months. During this time, the fawn learns essential survival skills, such as recognizing danger and finding food. Migration is a significant behavior observed in several deer species. The caribou, or reindeer, is renowned for its long migratory journeys across the Arctic tundra, traveling up to 3,000 miles annually between their summer and winter ranges. These migrations are crucial for accessing food resources and calving grounds. The role of deer in seed dispersal is another important ecological function. By consuming fruits and other plant materials, deer help spread seeds across wide areas through their droppings. This process, known as endozalkory, facilitates plant diversity and the propagation of various plant species. Deer are often featured in various forms of traditional and contemporary folklore and mythology. In Native American cultures, the deer is frequently seen as a messenger or a symbol of spiritual authority. The white stag, in particular, is a recurring motif in many myths and legends, often representing purity, transformation, and the quest for knowledge. The study of deer behavior and ecology has also contributed to broader scientific understanding. Research on deer movement patterns and habitat use has informed wildlife management and conservation strategies. Advances in tracking technology, such as GPS collars, have provided valuable data on deer migration routes and habitat preferences. Lastly, deer have significant economic and recreational importance. Wildlife tourism, including deer watching and photographing, generates substantial revenue in many regions. Deer hunting is not only a traditional practice in many cultures, but also a tool for population control and ecological balance ensuring that deer populations do not exceed the carrying capacity of their habitats. In summary, the world of deer is incredibly diverse and multifaceted, with each species exhibiting unique adaptations and behaviors that contribute to their survival and ecological roles. From their physical characteristics and dietary preferences to their cultural significance and economic impact, 
Deer are a vital and fascinating component of the natural world. Thank you.